My name is Verna Wyatt, and I'm a co-founder of Tennessee Voices for Victims, and we're a crime victim advocacy organization. I didn't want to be a victim advocate. I wanted to be a homemaker, but I became a victim advocate when someone that I loved was raped and murdered. changes the way you see the world and I wanted to prevent other victims from feeling the kind of pain that I felt, the kind of pain my family felt from that horrible crime. My name is Valerie Craig and I am one of the co-founders of Tennessee Voices for Victims and unlike a lot of victim advocates I did not start my career because of some kind of crime devastation that happened to me. Instead I really consider my career beginning in 1995 when I worked with individuals at a camp for people with disabilities. We learned so many different things about the human spirit, but probably the biggest thing that I learned is the power of a voice and the importance of empowering individuals. When my career was led to work with victims of violent crime, I brought those skills that I had learned all those years ago to help individuals figure out how they have the power to heal and to help them reclaim what was taken from them. I began my career working in a domestic violence shelter and it was there that crime became more up close and personal rather than just stories on the news. And I was especially distressed to see kids who were impacted by violence, children who aren't safe in their own home. So I knew I wanted to be involved in a more proactive way. So since 1999, I've been in crime prevention, working as a video producer and marketing videos on subjects like domestic violence and child abuse. My name is Steffi. I am a survivor of childhood sexual abuse because the type of crime that I experienced uh, is complicated and it leaves wounds that can't be seen. So Tennessee Voices for Victims has come alongside me in this journey and given me a platform to tell the truth without shame but that my story, my voice, could be used to affect positive change for others. Hope, healing, and meaning. That's what Tennessee Voices for Victims has helped me to find. My name is Michaela Lewis, and I originally met Verna and Val as a local reporter here in Nashville. I'm a survivor of domestic violence. It took one night, and, and I knew that if I stayed, I would not survive. So I ran away barefoot in the middle of the night, and from the court process to everyday life, Verna and Val were there to support me and encourage me to share my story at the Crime Victims' Rights Week ceremony. No one ever expects any type of crime to happen to them, but when it does, you have one of two options, and that's either let it consume you or turn it into something positive and help others, finding strength through it all. As a victim advocate, we don't ever get the opportunity to help them totally restore their lives to what their life was like prior to the victimization, but we do get the opportunity to help them create a new normal by believing in them, by becoming their cheerleaders, by shining a light on the path. Um, and I think that those pieces are just a really critical part in helping that individual not only heal from what has happened to them, but also to transcend it. My name's Tony McPhee, and my youngest son, Andre McPhee, and my nephew, Greg Miles, they were murdered on 9-11-05 for monetary gain. The young lady and the young man were both caught and convicted, but my life has been devastated, will never be the same. But with the help of Tennessee Voices for Victims, Verna Wyatt, and also Valerie Craig, my life is much better now. Uh, the road has been tough, but through organizations such as Tennessee Voices for Victims, I now have a purpose in life and I have hope. It gives me a, a opportunity and a chance now to do something positive with my life. Whereas before, 
I was really just going through the motions. We have a pressing need to work with incarcerated men and women because 98% of the people who are incarcerated are coming back to our community. So through our victim impact programming, we work with offenders to help them understand the impact their actions have had on their victims. Uh, my name is Angel Vargas. I took victims impact in class. And it showed me that what I did affected other people and it just, it changed my life. It, it, Took me through a roller coaster of emotions, ups and downs, and meeting Verna and Valerie and the Tennessee Voices for Victim just had a huge impact on my life and changed changed me for the better. Now today I live a completely different lifestyle, being able to provide for my kids and living the life that that is not affecting others the way my old life did. Andre and Greg's death won't be in vain because if I can help just one young man, it gives me a, a purpose. My name's Kathleen and I'm a survivor of a 1985 sexual assault. If it hadn't been for my friends and family, I wouldn't have the courage to speak out. But I especially want to thank my friends in Tennessee for being such a support. Please consider donating to Tennessee so they can continue their support. And whether you're a survivor or not, we all have the ability to change the world.